Well, I, I think at the end of it, it was efficient, right? And that's the thing that, that we have to be to have success is efficient. I thought both guys were extremely efficient. I don't even know what our numbers are, 22 or 29 looks like. And I think the reality of that is we were efficient. And you see us positive on third down. You know, the offenses that I've been a part of that have been really successful is we're efficient. We're efficient in situational football. We're efficient on third down. And we have not been that, but we certainly were today. And I think a little bit of credit's got to go to that offensive line, too. I thought their protection was pretty good. It's a team that's created a bunch of turnovers and certainly had a bunch of tackles for loss and sacks. And I thought those guys were able to pr protect well today as well. So, you know, um, I think hats off to certainly both those kids. And it was fun to watch those guys play together. I thought you saw a lot of energy between the two uh, really rooting for each other. And if we can have that, and if that's real, then I think that gives our entire team uh, a foundation to build on for sure. Well, I think it always does, right? I mean, I, I, turnovers are so critical to your success. And obviously, when you when you have turnovers, you know, it's so detrimental to who you are offensively. And, you know, it's unfortunate that we did have one today, but I think it was huge to watch our defense step up and really create some of those. And I think that was certainly a momentum changer within the football game. And some really critical, critical times, those came into play. And, you know, that was great to see. I thought, again, why did some of those happen? The D-line was able to create some pass rush, and we didn't always have to blitz and bring extra guys, and we were able to sit back in some zone coverage today, and balls get knocked down or batted, and next thing you know, we're able to turn the ball over, and then some great individual efforts as well, but uh, I thought a lot, of, a lot of improvement in that area, and was it anything special? No. I just think it was our ability to get out there and play with some confidence today. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I think I said that a couple weeks ago, you know, A player, you know, you gotta have it, you gotta get A's, you gotta come and you gotta practice and you got to prepare like a people do and you know I think that's that's you're going to hear a lot of that of us you know I demand that of our coaches I demand that of our players um, you know a, a players can't get B's and C's I mean, when you get B's and C's you fail and so the reality of that for us is we got to continue to strain to allow and coach our guys to get A's and our kids I thought did a good job of that well you hope the progress is coming you know I, I think today obviously came I can't wait to get back in tomorrow and see what football team comes back to be honest with you you know great to win today that's awesome but this is a, the college football season's a marathon it's not a sprint and can you learn can you grow can we come in with that same attitude and that same chip on our shoulder tomorrow as we did last week when we came in on Sunday? And it'll be interesting, you know, and that's it's all part of our growth and our process, but absolutely it's, it's part of the process that we talk about all the time.